Sports is brought to you by All Out Auto Repair, home of the $46 Saskatchewan and $66 Alberta Safety Inspection. Your complete automotive repair. We shift the desk over to Moses now with a first look at sports and the Bobcats doing pretty good after a couple home games. Oh yeah, they got three games under the belt. Mm -hmm. They still have one more to go, but uh, so far so good. The guys have uh, done a pretty good job over this time. A little tough, uh, tough job in the middle, of course, but uh, certainly a heck of a game last night as well. The Lloydminster Bobcats are one and one on their four game home stand up next was the Calgary Canucks who lost to Bonneville the night before. Let's pick it up in the first midway through Canucks PP, Devin Dambrowskis. His shot finds the back of the net. Canucks up 1-0 on the board. Bobcats answer. Mitchell Gartner's shot beats Michael Matthias. Game's tied at ones. Just before the period is done, Canucks another man advantage. Derek Thorogood's backhand beats Chase Martin. Canucks will retake the lead 2-1 after 20. Second period, Bobcats equalize Gartner's shot. Doesn't get through, but Kyle Harris buries one. Then in overtime, he gets the game winner. Unbelievable. His Twitter name is The Harris Show, and he just showed the reasons why. Beauty goal. He's been on fire of late. Three to two. Bobcats win is your final. This is their third home game thus far. Harris collecting seven points in that home stand. Newcomer Isaac Berglund had a pair of assists in his second game, so not too shabby for him as well. The Bobcats wrap up their home stand Wednesday night versus Sherwood Park. Elsewhere, two men senior hockey, the Lloydminster Border Kings hammer the Innisfail Eagles 7-2. Dallas falls sheer with a pair of goals. Border Kings on a three-game win streak. They look to continue their winning way Saturday night at the Civic Center when they take on the Sylvan Lake Admirals. In the N-E-J-A-B-H-L, boy, there's got to be a better way to say that. Uh, maybe shorten up the words a bit, but I swear this is not a typo. The Lloydminster Bandits scoring more points than the Denver Broncos this weekend. My goodness. Colby Gervais leading the way with two goals and five assists. Everyone getting on the goal sheet or score sheet for the Bandits with the exception of backup Ty Newman. That's how crazy it has been. 18-4 again was the final in that one. Uh, on to some basketball in the Lakeland Rustlers men's basketball team. Look to remain undefeated as they took on division leaders from the south, the 8-1 Mount Royal Cougars. First quarter, Rustlers start the game on an 11-2 run. Ke uh, Kevin Parchment goes baseline for two of his 20 on the night. Moments later, Jaguna Weganjo with the step back jumper. He gets that to fall. 13-9 Rustlers. Cougars keep this one close. Kyle Wilson, open three, game's tied. 19-17 would be the score after one for the Rustlers. Second period, transition game, second to none for the Rustlers. Parchment, no look, Colin LaPlante with the finish. Rustlers up by 10. Kadeem Willis will find Adrian Curtis, and he'll get the lay in to drop. Rustlers will lead 43-31 at half. Third quarter, more of the same. Up by 18. Cougars will turn it over. Parchment with the ball and with the dunk. Unreal. Rustlers go up by 20 points. Waganjo once again would hit the tray. Game high 21. Lakeland, 91-69 was your final for that one. The Lady Rustlers also took on Mount Royal at home, but unfortunately they fell to the Cougars 77-72. Amy Warbrick led the way for the Rustlers with 13 points and 5 assists. Lakeland's record drops to 7-5. Their next home game is Saturday against Augustana. To moving, or moving to volleyball now, uh, the women's team uh, gets swept, unfortunately, by GPRC. Three sets to none, 25-12, 25-17, and then 25-12 once again. Uh, Natasha Fowler with 10 kills for the Lady Rustlers. Their, records, uh, their record falls to 4-10. and 10. For the men, uh, they didn't fare any better to Grand Prairie. They lose three sets to none, 25-18, 25-16, 25-20. Aaron ends with the eight kills in the losing effort. Both the men's and women's team will face Augustana Friday night at home. And that is your first look at sports. Gerard is up next with weather. Stay tuned. <laughs> 